not me sliding in with a plant unboxing video like two weeks after moving. Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. Yes, we are indeed doing an unboxing already. I have nothing to say for myself except for the fact that We Pot Plants reached out to me and asked if there was any plants that I was interested in on their website. Of course there was. Of course there was. <laughs> There's actually some immaculate plants on their website. So here I am to unbox some of them. And I'm so excited. Like, honestly, I cannot wait to show you what's in this box. I've already hinted to it on my Instagram story. This is a very cool version of one of my favorite plants. And I can't believe that I'm adding it into my collection today. To be honest with you, I've been having a couple of kind of off days recently as well. So this is going to be such a nice little pick-me-up and <clears throat> i'm just so grateful and um excited to open this so like i said this package was kindly gifted to me by an online plant shop here in canada called we pot plants i believe that they are located in ontario they've been operating for around three years now and they're just starting to experiment with shipping to the us so i'm not sure if that's underway yet but you can expect that for the future they do have some really phenomenal, hard to find plants on their website. So I'll have all their information, their website, Instagram, everything linked down below in the description box. But other than that, I'm dying to crack into this. So I've got my box cutter right here. I've got my Dr. Zevia. <laughs> and we're ready. This was shipped out to me yesterday and it came this morning. So I'm very impressed by that, first of all. I think she sent me extras. The owner's name is Heather and she's so sweet. Oh my goodness. This is so cute. She wrote, congrats on your move and happy birthday. Look at this little pop socket. <laughs> That's so stinking cute. I'm definitely going to be putting that on my phone. Or honestly, I might put this on my e-reader because I've been wanting to put a pop socket on my e-reader. I've been seeing a lot of people do that. So this will be going somewhere, but that's so cute. It's like a Monstera Aurea maybe, or like a green variegated Monstera. So, so cute. Love that. Okay, I was under the impression that there was going to be two plants. I picked two plants off of the website because they really caught my eye, but it looks like there's more than two plants in here. So I'm just going to pull them out and then I'll get the box out of our way. Oh my goodness, I have no idea what the other ones are. <gasps> there's literally so many. I was not expecting this. I was kind of wondering why the box is so big when it showed up this morning, but I was just like, oh, maybe it's just like packaging or something, but no, there's six plants in here. There's six stinking plants in here. When I was chatting with Heather over email, she was saying that um, she's really into collecting alocasia too. So she has some really like cool varieties and stuff. Um, other varieties, spoiler, one of the plants that I chose is an alocasia, but uh, I'm curious to see if any of these other ones are alocasia as well. I don't even know which one to open first. I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I cannot believe this. Okay, maybe let's do a small one. Wait, I think the one I chose is gonna be a small one. Let's do this one first. I'm just gonna choose them randomly, I guess. Oh my goodness. This is so nice. This is honestly making my whole day, my whole week. Okay, opening the first one. This is a plant that I have really been wanting. And I did not know that it was coming in this package. I'm a little shook. I'm a little shook. I 
I've never seen one in person before and it is stunning. I cannot believe it. Okay, ready? Oh my goodness. She sent me a variegated fry deck. Oh my goodness. I am always drooling at other people's photos of theirs online, but I was not expecting to be getting one of my own. Oh my goodness. This is so nice. Thank you so much, Heather, what the heck? I'm honestly like, I can't believe it. I was not expecting this, oh my goodness. I'm so excited to grow this. I'm so freaking excited. Wow, we are off to a very strong start. This is incredible. Oh my goodness, the variegation on this is stunning too. Like, look at this, are you kidding me? That's literally perfect. Wow. Oh, I just love the marbled variegation. So, so pretty. The plant looks super healthy too. Oh my goodness, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna set this one right here. I cannot believe that. Oh my goodness. So I have the just regular green version of this, which is called Alocasia michaeliciana, and it's one of my favorite Alocasia, probably one of my favorite plants in general. I'm actually working on a video where I've um, kind of done an air layering thing with it and then chopped it, and it's growing back from that whole endeavor. Um, it's been an interesting ride, so that video probably won't be out for, I'm gonna guess, around another month. But yeah, I love that alocasia so much and I've had so much fun growing it and experimenting with it. And I'm just so thankful to have the variegated version. Like, how cool is that? Wow. Okay, my battery's dying. I'm gonna change that before we carry on here. Okay, I'm just gonna choose them at random here. I just, yeah, I don't even know. I don't even know, you guys, holy smokes. This is the one that I picked. This is the one that I picked. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Do you see that? Wow. This is immaculate how is this real this is a variegated alocasia dragon scale if you've been on my channel for a while then you might know that i've had the green dragon scale for a long time several years now and it's one of my all-time favorite plants i've grown it out to be pretty big and i just love it so much so when i saw that they had the variegated dragon scale on the website, I was like, immediately yes. Like, I feel like I just would die to have this in my collection. So, wow. I cannot believe that I have this. I am so excited to grow this out. As you can see, this one has a ton of variegation. I picked this one specifically. Uh, I think that there's still a bunch of others on the website, so you can go check it out if you're interested, but they're, they have kind of varying levels or, and like patterns of variegation on them. And I don't know, I, I was feeling ballsy, I guess, because I chose this one, which has a ton of white, which I know can be not the best for the plant, but it was this leaf. It was this leaf that really got me and I just, I had to have this particular one. So we're gonna see how it goes growing this one. I'm gonna be babying this like crazy. Cannot wait to share updates. I'm so curious on how this is going to grow for me and what it's gonna end up looking like once it gets bigger. The roots look really healthy. It's growing in sphagnum right now, if you can see that. But yeah, wow. My goodness, my freaking goodness. 
The only other variegated alocasia that I have is the um, Gagiana Aurea, which is yellow variegated alocasia, and it's absolutely stunning. And ever since I got that one, I just, something was unlocked within me, like this new love for variegated alocasia. And now I have two more to add to my collection. So how fun is that? Okay, I'm gonna open a big one next. I have no idea what could be in here, but let's find out. I genuinely feel so spoiled. Like this is ridiculous. Manila's Pride Eglionima. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is incredible. Okay, I need to talk about this a little bit. Let me let me clear this out of the way. Oh my goodness. This is actually so crazy because about half a year ago now, last December, I bought a variegated Manila's Pride Eglionema and um, it was smaller than this. I think it had, it had a handful of leaves, like maybe four or five leaves, but it was a smaller plant and it promptly rotted on me. Not really sure what I did wrong, but it rotted on me and then I tried to reroot it in water. It wasn't rooting, um, which is kind of unusual because I usually have like pretty good success rooting in water, but it wouldn't root for me. So I, so, I, so I ended up putting it in the cabinet in perlite and it didn't do anything for the longest time. And I was getting so frustrated because it was a huge wishless plant for me. I love them, like, are you kidding me? So, so beautiful. So I was kind of bummed out that, you know, I was so excited to get this wishless plant and then it rotted and then it wouldn't root and then it wouldn't grow. So now here we are six months later and it did end up rooting for me very slowly. Like it still doesn't have too many roots and it's actually putting out its first leaf for me after six months, which is so crazy. So I struggled with that plant, had a really hard time with it, have almost lost it on multiple occasions. And um, yeah, I don't know, it's kind of one of those plants where I just started to lose hope on a little bit. It is bouncing back now, which is nice. It was also not a very highly variegated specimen, but I was just kind of, I wanted it so badly that I was like, I'm just gonna take a chance on it and hopefully it will get more variegated. Um, so we'll see what happens with that little one. It's still living in the cabinet. I'm really excited to see it putting out a new leaf, but we'll see what happens with it. Uh, I guess I'm probably gonna combine these two together now that I have another one. But I just cannot believe that I have this big beautiful one now. Like, oh my goodness, my wishes were answered. Are you kidding me? This is so crazy. Roots look really healthy and everything. Variegation is stunning on it. Like, oh my goodness, I, <laughs> I cannot believe it. There's a new leaf right here coming out as well. How crazy is that? I don't know if she knew I had that small one and that I've been struggling with it and she sent me this one or maybe she didn't know that I had it at all because I, I don't talk about it that much since it just, it hasn't been doing much for me. But regardless, I'm so thankful to have this one. I can actually grow this out into a nice beautiful plant now. Like I said, I'll combine the other one with it and then I'm gonna have such a beautiful pot of Eglionema Manila's Pride. So the Manila's Pride is a variegated Aglionema commutatum, I believe, which is just like a common type of Aglionema, but the variegated version is very uncommon. When I was in the market for one in December, I had a really hard time just finding them from any sellers in Canada at all. So this is very, very cool that, um, that they have some of these on their website. Like, wow, I'm very, very stoked on this. This is like, variegated plant heaven over here <laughs> like what the heck i could not believe it oh my goodness okay we're gonna do a small one again we're halfway through
What are you going to be? <gasps> no way! No way! Oh my goodness! I honestly feel like my mind is being read. Like, what? This is a very good string of pearls. And I've been saying that I've been wanting to try a string of pearls again so badly. I kid you not, I almost bought one, just the regular green one, but I almost bought one like a few, a few days ago and then I ended up leaving it at the store and I didn't get it. And I've actually been thinking about it since I didn't buy one. And now I have the variegated one. <laughs> what the heck? It is so cute. There's a specific planter that I have that's really special to me and really beautiful, a hanging planter that I've been wanting to put string of pearls in, which is why I've really been wanting one. And also I just, I feel, I feel, this is my kind of little prediction. I feel like string of pearls is really going to be having a comeback moment. I've been seeing them posted a lot more recently and I love that because I just think that they're so cool. I had one when I first started getting into plants, the green form. And then I actually also, for a very short time, had the variegated form, this one, um, but I just had cuttings and they just, they didn't take or something. I remember they just rotted. So I'm so thankful to have this. What the heck? The variegated one. How cool is that? String of Pearls is so, just like such a unique plant. Like there's just, there's nothing like it. It is so, so cool. I'm not gonna do any repotting right away because I want these plants to be able to settle into my home and everything. But once I feel like it's ready to be, you will be seeing a repotting video of me putting this into the planter that I have in mind for it. I'm so excited, I can't wait. <laughs> I just can't believe it. Like these plants are perfect. They're literally all variegated so far. Like, oh my goodness. I'm so just, wow. Big one, and then one small one is left. Let's do this guy. These plants, like, she hit the nail on the head. Like, a thousand percent, I would have picked all of these plants out for myself. And there's still one more that I did pick um, from the website that I haven't gotten to yet. I'm not sure if it's gonna be this one or the other one. We'll see, we'll see. I think this might be the one I picked. Oh, oh my gosh, <gasps> what? I did not know it was gonna be this big. <laughs> Wait until you see this Oya. I did not know that this was gonna be this big. Oh, okay, it's just hanging on there. What? <laughs> Okay, this is the biggest leaf Hoya that I have in my collection at the moment. What the heck? Oh my goodness. Oh, I knew that the leaves got big on this, but I just was not expecting it to be this big. <gasps> okay, so this is one that I picked out. I saw it on the website. So this is Hoya Pricktie. I'm not sure if that pronunciation is correct, but as you can see, it has these phenomenal, huge leaves. Oh my goodness. I cannot even tell you. They're huge and they're like very thick feeling, like very, very sturdy leaves. Oh my goodness. They get like a darker margin too and have stunning veining. Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? It's got this big vine and active growth coming out on the vine up here. Oh my goodness. This really just speaks for itself. This is absolutely not like any of the other Hoya in my collection. I'm, I'm probably gonna perish when it starts putting out its first new leaf for me because I just cannot fathom the gargantuan size of these. Like, holy smokes, this is so, so freaking cool. I'm trying to pull the fuzzies off. Wow. This has 
more than exceeded my expectations. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> it is so cool. There's some really pretty splashing on, on it too. You can see on this sleeve. Look at that. Gorgeous. Wow. Lots of roots in there too. It's a happy, happy little guy. Well, happy big guy, really. Oh my goodness. Okay. We'll add that to our little collection over here. Wow. Okay. We're moving on to the last one. I feel like I've just been in a state of shock throughout this whole unboxing. I. Like, not in person, my friend Dakota posted in my Discord that he ordered one of these. I'm pretty sure it was this one. And we were talking about how cool it is because it has these frilly edges. What the heck? So it's a type of alocasia, but what are you called? This is so cool. Look, it has a new leaf. Oh, the name's on here. Olanii. Olanii, is that correct? Oh my goodness. What? It's so crazy because I had never even seen this before. I'm like kind of new to the alocasia genus. Like, you know, I have a lot of the more well-known ones, but as far as like diving a little bit deeper than just like the common um, alocasia, I don't really know a lot about them. So it was my first time seeing this when he posted that photo and I immediately commented on the ruffled edges because I was like, that's just so unique. And now here I am, like, that's so crazy. Or I guess here it is. What the heck? I have to get you a closer look. That is just so, so cool. Even the new leaf coming in, you can see like the texture is just crazy. Oh my goodness. That is so neat. What a unique alocasia. That's gorgeous. That is so gorgeous. I'm so incredibly grateful. Thank you so much, Heather, for sending these all over to me. I feel so privileged to be in the position that I'm in to have these relationships with different plant shops um, and to be able to share just what they have to offer with the rest of you through these videos. I'm just, I'm so lucky and I genuinely feel that. What an incredible haul. This is probably one of my favorite unboxing videos that I've done before. So like I said, I will have um, everything linked down below in the description box if you wanna check this shop out. Five stars, 10 out of 10, incredible. Let me know which one is your favorite out of this haul. I would love to hear your thoughts. Also, let's do an emoji of the day. What should it be? Let's do a star, like the sparkle stars or just a regular star, a shooting star, any kind of star emoji. Leave it down below in the comments or with your comment. And don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. I cannot wait to give you updates on these plants as soon as I get them settled in and everything. I will have all the information for wepotplants.com down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.